Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new database using SQL Server Management Studio. Right now, I am inside the software. This is my server right here. Let me check if I am connected right now. This is my server name and I'm going to click on connect to be sure I am connected. So I see that I'm connected and I'm going to go ahead to create the databases. These are the databases I have created earlier and I'm going to create new one right here. Click on the blue box, right click, click on new database. And this box is going to pop up for you. And then it's going to ask you if you want to create a new name. So I'm going to put a new name and give that database products. And I'm going to click on OK. Then you see this green light, which is already executed. So if you see that green thing going around like that, that means it's executing and we see our database right here. So we see that we now have a new database named product. So if we want to create a new table in this, we see we have a new database. Click on the plus sign for that to open up and go to tables. The tables are the second one. Just click on that and it's expanding. And we see that we don't have any table right now. If we have a table, it's going to show on that display. So let's create a new table. Click on tables, right click on that, click on new and click on table. And then it's going to open up for you. So we want to start creating our table right now. So this is the column name. This is the data type. And to show if it's going to be empty or not, which is why you see allow nulls. If it is null, that means it is empty. If you click on that, that means it's not no, it's not empty. So let's see. So the first one is going to be product ID and I'm going to give it product ID and the data type because it's going to be number. I'm going to give it integer. So click on the down arrow and look for wherever integer is. Just scroll. So we find integer. Click on that to show that it is number. So the next one is going to be product name. I'm going to write the product name right here and that's going to be voucher because it is text. I'm going to increase that to 25 to allow for longer text, right? And then you move to the next one. If you want to move to the next one, just click the line, the row under that first one or the last one that you created. So I'm going to give it a price here and then because price is going to be number value, I'm going to change that to integer because it's not string. It is not text. So I'm going to go ahead and look for integer. Good. And I give it that. And then maybe the last one, I'm going to put quantity. Remember again that quantity is value. It is number. So I'm going to go ahead and give it integer. Right. So. Maybe I just want to put the company name or company, you know, or let's say product company. And that is going to be text. So we're going to leave that voucher and I'll leave it 25. And then once you're done with that, you're going to click on this save button. So I'm going to save the table as you can see. So I click on that. So it's going to ask me, what do I want to name this? So I'm just going to say product table. And then I click OK because that is the name I've given it. So once I do that, I'm sure it's going to save in the database that I created. Remember, I created the product database, which is this one right here. And if I refresh and then I click on table, you see, I have my table right here. So if I want to see the table right now, we have not put anything inside the table. So if I want to see that, I'm going to open it up to see what we did. If it worked, I'm going to click on select top 1000 rows. I select that. And then we have the code here that automatically generates, And we have the column titles right here. But because we don't have anything in that table, that is why it is showing empty. Let me quickly go ahead and add some data into that. So click on the table, right click, and then go to edit top 200 rows. Click on that 
and this is going to open up for you to start filling up that table so if i say the table is 201 the product id remember it is the primary key i'm going to leave it at that if i want to give that a primary key i i go to the bars on top here and i look for the key icon okay so let me fill this up first and then i come back to it to give it a key and then the product name let me open it up a little bit so the product name let's say i give it iphone pro and i say the price is 1500 remember that is value and then the quantity that we have is going to be 30 and then the product company is going to be apple and then i click to go to the next row just go down and click in that row automatically we have that created so i say the next one is 202 and i say it is not it is the uh, product name is nokia and then i say the price is 700 dollars and i say the quantity that we have is just 20 and i just say the company is nokia and then i go to the next one you can see we are filling up that tape right now and i say 203 and i say the product name is samsung galaxy let's see if this is going to work and i said the price is going to be one four and i said the quantity is 50 and the company is samsung and we go ahead to the next one good that works because the voucher i made it 25 instead of 10 so it allowed for more text so the next one is going to be 204 and we said the product is apple case and i said the price is 30 dollars and the quantity is 150 and then the company is apple and the last one i say 205 product is samsung case and i said the quantity is 50 and the price is 20 and, and sorry the let's say the price is 20 dollars and then the quantity is 50 no let's make it 200 and then the company is samsung and then i think we are good with that table so i'm going to refresh that right now to make sure it is inside the table and if i go to the table if i want to see if this has populated in the table as i did i go to the table the product table that we named earlier remember and right click on that and i say select top 1000 rows click on that and we see that our table is created so this is the code to write it you can take your time to study the code and this software has made it easy for you to create your database without having to code but it is very good to know how to write the code but if you cannot do that this is already done for you at the back end so you can just insert your data the only thing you need to learn is how to write queries to bring out what you're looking for in the database so that is how to create a new database and also create tables and put values inside the table so before we go let me quickly show you how to add a key to your product id or your id or any of the values in this case i wanted to show you how to add primary key to the product id so i'm going to go ahead and show you go to the table right click on that go to design and then we have this page so on this page right here we want to put the primary key on the product id so go back to the tab on top and select primary key set primary key like so so right now we have that set to primary key and that can be the unique identifier for this product on this table yeah so i hope you get that thank you for watching